YouTube dream you are ticket exactly what to do with it these are so rare you may see a lot of these tickets you're getting a dream ticket can be used on a box all the other tickets cannot have at it there can only be one winner and you're looking at it let's go on your second day of logging in in the Dark Side of Dimensions promo event, you get your You Are Dream ticket. The other days, you get other tickets which can be used on event cards or ranked rewards. So we don't care about those so much. We're going to focus on the You Are Dream ticket. This is the big one. Do not mess this up. I swear, if you in the comments say that you spent the ticket before waiting for my video, you screwed up. You better subscribe. You better pay attention. Next time on your next ticket, you're not going to screw it up. Warning. There could be good future potential cards, but there is no way to predict it. So the number one way to spend your ticket is to wait. Wait. It expires January 31st, 2020. Optimally, you wait till up to that date. And whatever the meta is, you'll spend your ticket. But if you can't wait or you only want to wait a little, that's what this video is for. A random card like Senju could become top tier out of nowhere. Warning, again, I can confidently say that Dark Side of Dimensions will have an impact on the meta. Invoker, Dragon Magic, Element Sabers, they are all looking to be top tier decks early into our testing, but they're not proven and not on the tier list yet. So we can't confidently tell you to use any cards that may or may not be core or tech cards within these decks. Only box one through 20th can be used Valhalla Calling and all these cards you see here, can't use it. Curse of Dread and all these cards you see here, you can't use it. And of course, the brand new Dark Dimensions box, you can't use it. Now, please, do not use this on any structure deck. Just mow a lawn, do something, do a favor, okay? Do not spend it on a structure deck. I don't care if you're missing your third card from a structure deck. Just find a way to make money to get that structure deck instead. Also, do not use it on an event card. Wait for its return of the event or the other tickets could probably be used on it. It's a trap. Konami should remove this option. A UR card from a main box is potentially worth $100. I'll never forget this. I went to Worlds 2017. I went free to play. Justin Taylor donated $100 to help me out. I spent that entire $100 for a single Mirror Force, Mirror Wall. Mirror Wall was the only card I got out of $100, a single UR card from a main box. So that's crazy for you to use it on a structure deck or an event card when this is a potential $100 value. Warning, selection boxes are back. These are temporary reprinted cards of the top cards. So I will at the end of this video in addition to all the cards we're talking about, we're going to talk about what cards are reprinted, and this is temporary. It's until October 24th, so pay attention to that. Maybe you want to buy the reprinted box instead of spending your UR Dream ticket on the temporary reprints. Now, your number one priority to use your card is going to be on a core card of a good deck for your Dream ticket. Here are top tier decks only, proven Good cards. Number one, and this is not number one, the most used to use it on. This is in a random order. We're just talking about the cards. Sonic Bird. This searches for ritual spells. It can be used in any ritual deck. It has great future potential, but it could also be bad in the future because there's a lot of great cards in the TCG that are simply used over Sonic Bird. So you don't know. But right now it's used in tier three Vendrids. Remember, the dark side of dimensions is shaping up the meta. We don't know if tier three will become tier one or tier three can get removed off the tier list. But right now, Vendridge is tier three. You could use Sonic Bird in it. Now, tier two, six Sam. You could use it on your Sheen or your Kizan. These are core cards of six Sam. I would not use it unless it is your third Kizan or your first or second Sheen. I guess both would be good. If you really want to play six Sam 
and you're just missing Shia and you got three keys on for some reason because you reset the box three times, you're out of your goddamn mind, but you did it anyway and you couldn't pull Shia in, maybe that's a good option. So only use it finishing off your deck, it's tier two. Tier three spell books. This is a core card in spell books, but I think Invoker is going to replace Breaker, so I could not recommend Breaker. But this is just to show that I'm not missing anything. I'm showing you everything. You're not going to see any other content provider or any website or anyone be this in-depth with what you should spend your dream ticket on. This is just to give you further more confidence in this video. Now, that's it for top tier proven cards. There's not many. Didn't, didn't look that great either. So let's move on to top tier speculation decks. Decks that might be good in the dark side of dimensions, but we're going to have to wait for proven results. You're going to have to wait for the next tournament, which will be Wednesday or maybe Tuesday on stream. So these are the dates. Check it out. Only then will be the start of seeing proven cards that might be good. Navigation might be good for Dark Magician, which you could use your dream ticket on. Ancients might be good for Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes might be top tier. Who knows? Lila might be used in addition or instead of Silent Magician for Invoker decks. Invoker is a level four dark spellcaster. You're going to use Light and Dark to return Lila to add your Invoker. Or you'll probably just play Silent Magician or you'll play it instead of Silent Magician. Now, Ancient Gears are not on the tier list right now, but they did quite well in our dual point tournaments. Galaxy Cyclone is a core card of Ancient Gears, also can be used in any deck. So maybe you want to use it on Galaxy Cyclone. Now, someone random in the chat, I have no idea what Thunder Dragons are, if they're good or not. I have not tested them myself, but they think that Wyvern might be a core card in Thunder Dragon slash Chaos decks. I don't know, probably not. Your number two priority. Your number two priority is going to be widely used tech cards. These are optional cards, but they're great cards used in many different decks. For example, Enemy Controller, which, which you're not going to use your ticket on. But I'm talking about Cockatiss right now. Why? If Cockatiss becomes top tier, most of these cards will be useless. Cockatiss is crazy. Can't be destroyed can't be targeted you can't wall a d it you can't drowning you can't sphere kribo it's in defense it attacks and can't be targeted so if this becomes the meta most of these cards are not going to be good but let's talk about them anyway kanadia is the big big card this is probably the number one card if you just gun to my head you got to use the dream ticket right now or you go bye bye Canadia! Use it on Canadia! Okay, I'm safe. But still, I'm telling you to wait. But if you have to, use it on Canadia. Invoke Cockatiss might shite on Canadia, but Canadia has great future potential. All right, with Exceed Summoning, Synchro Summoning. Canadia might be great forever, but it also might be reprinted in the future. If it's great forever, who knows? Cosmic Cyclone. Great future potential. Banishes does not destroy. We have some new cards that give destruction protection and being able to banish is good. Now, Divine Wrath is on the rise. Only this card was never really used. It's on the rise because of Dark Lords, but Providence, another card, look it up, is a great free to play alternative where it does the same exact thing. If you discard a monster, it will negate a monster effect and destroy it. So maybe, probably not, don't use it. Dark Bribe is being used in a Mono Awada, which is a tier three deck, but it's not a core card. You don't need it. You can replace it with any other counter trap. You're using it with the Rebirth of Parshath card. Drowning Mirror Force. This card is just a good tech card at the moment because it claps Dark Lords, it claps Red Eyes. But if there's any good deck that deals with back row, Drowning's not gonna be good. Also Cockatiss, you can't drown the Cockatiss. Good future potential. Kaiku has been used in spell books as a tech card, not a core card. Breaker was a core card, but might be replaced by Invoker. So if Breaker might be replaced by Invoker, then Kaiku is definitely probably going to be replaced by Invoker. Otherwise, it's a pretty good side deck card. It just prevents your opponent from banishing from either player graveyard. Now, 
Mirwall is just being used in trimids right now. Trimids, it just jumps. Okay. Trimids are good with this card because they're gaining life. Gain life with the trimids. Keep the mirror wall up. Have the opponent's monsters attack. Pretty good. Now, in addition to Kanadia, probably the best uses for your UR Dream Ticket is going to be extra deck monsters. These are great one ofs. If you are playing a deck that can make any of these, you might just want to pick this up. Vermilion Dragon Mech, probably the most powerful, most influential synchro when being used in a deck. Really good. Destroy any card in the field, level 9. Level 7, Black Rose, probably coming in second place of being the most influential of what's actually being used. Wipes the field. Very good. Arcanite's being used in just Fortune Ladies. If you could summon it, it's pretty good. Even when you use it in Fortune Ladies, you're rarely summoning it. The most used, I would say, is Vermilion in any deck that could summon it. Then Armades. Armades is really good in Six Samurai right now. And it's just a great level 5 Synchro if you could make it. Negate everything on attack. Now, the only thing I'm not covering in this video is unproven future potential cards. I'm not going through every box and going, this might be good, this might be good. Why would we do that? Because you're not going to gamble and use it on something that might be good until maybe January 2020. But right now, there's no reason to use it on something that might be good. Why would you use it on Senju right now? Because you think it might be good. Just wait until it's good. But this is an example of something that might be good. Next up. These are going to be here for just October 24th. So, these are all the cards we covered. Lila, Cosmic Cyclone, Sonic Bird, Mirror Wall, Divine Wrath, and Drowning Mirror Force. Instead of using your dream ticket on any of these cards, you might want to just pull it from the selection box. The selection box is a kind of a pay-to-win box. It does require money after a certain amount of gems. So if you're not willing to spend money on these boxes, then these boxes don't even exist to you anyway. But remember my story? A mirror wall could cost $100. So if you're willing to spend money, it's better to just pull it from this instead, instead of the dream ticket. All right? Now, a notable missing card from here. Remember, gun to my head, what you should use it on if you're really just going to use it and you don't care. Kanadia is not reprinted. Even though I think it should, it might be reprinted soon. There you go. Kanadia. Love it. Now, to recap the entire video, the number one use is to wait. Wait until a close date to January 31st, 2020. Number two, wait a little. Let the dark side of Dimension Meta settle. Use the gem guide, use the Discord, ask me for help. I will tell you what to use it on as time goes on. Three months from now, four months from now, you could keep asking me. Every month, my answer based off what the meta is, I might say a different card. So you could wait a little, like a week or two, at least maybe a month. Then number three, finish a core of a top deck that you did not finish building yet, like Six Sam. Six Sam sitting on the shelf, you only have two keys on, you want that third. Just finish it off. It's a great deck right now, but we don't know. Dark Side Dimension might make it not great or it might make it better. Then number four, use it on Kanadia or Cosmic Cyclone. They are great now. They'll likely be great in the future. They might not be great in Dark Side Dimension, so there's a chance of that. You never know. And then also extra deck monsters like the Vermilion, Black Rose. Those are great options to throw into your deck if you have synchro options great future potential that's the video hope you enjoyed love it spend it correctly fools